What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RossmoreTech.com. How you guys doing? I'm doing well. Hopefully you guys are doing well too. This video is gonna be awesome. Why is it gonna be awesome? Because we're doing another Orange Pi PC video. It's been a while since we did our last Orange Pi PC video, so I figured why not do one right now? Our last video with the Orange Pi PC, we installed Army and we tested it out. We did some benchmarks. It was cool, we compared it to the Raspberry Pi. So, so the purpose of this video is to see how hot the Orange Pi PC can get. We're gonna do that by running some stress tests. So first thing we're gonna do is test out the Orange Pi PC without any cooling. Then we're gonna install one of these heat sinks, see how cool we can get it. Now after that, we're gonna water cool the Orange Pi PC. This is my like benchmark for water cooling single board computers. I have the Raspberry Pi Zero right now, but as you can see, I'm gonna connect some of this thermal transfer tape on one end and I'm gonna connect the other onto our Orange Pi PC. Then we're gonna see how cool we can get it using water cooling. This right here is gonna be my official uh, bench for water cooling single board computers. Any single board computer that I get my hands on, I'm gonna water cool it. We're gonna test it out using this bench. If you guys like this bench, give this video a like. Let's get started with the stress test. All right, so this is how the whole thing is going to be run. The left terminal over here, as you can see, I have the benchmark, I have the stress test. This stress test will stress the CPU for about, I believe, two minutes. Now on the right here, this is gonna keep track of the temperature of the CPU. As you can see, it keeps refreshing with the CPU temp. Right now, it's sitting idle at 40 degrees Celsius. When I click on this terminal and I hit enter, the stress test should start for two minutes. Once it stops, we'll come back and read the temperature at the end. The stress test is starting right now and you you should be able to see the temperature automatically go up like right away. It went from 41 Celsius to 56 Celsius to 58. And the temperature is gonna keep rising. So after two minutes, I'm gonna be back and we're gonna read the temperature at the very end. All right, the stress test is complete and we're sitting on a temperature of 72 Celsius. So 72 Celsius is our temperature for the no cooling. And as you see, as the stress test stopped, the temperature went starting to go down again. So 72 was our highest or was the temperature at the end of the stress test. So we're gonna move on to the next test. All right, guys. Welcome back. And now we're gonna do round two of our test. So round two of our test involves a heat sink. I connected a small heat sink to our Orange Pi PC. And uh, between the heat sink and the CPU, there's a layer of uh, adhesive tape, thermal adhesive tape, which transfers the heat onto our heat sink. And now we have a base temperature of 38 degrees. Now our previous test, we had a base temperature of 40 degrees Celsius, but it's not a big difference in temperature. It's only like two degrees. And as I'm talking to you guys, it's jumping from like 38 to 30. So again, that's not a big change in uh, temperature, but we're gonna find out how hot it gets. I'm gonna run the same test we ran in the last test. Once I hit enter right now, the stress test is starting. As you can see, the temperature should rise. Again, 38 starting temperature with the heat sink is jumping up now, but I'll come back in two minutes. All right, so the stress test is over and the highest temperature I read off this thing is 62 degrees Celsius. Before the test stopped, it, it, it stopped at 60 degrees Celsius. So 60 degrees Celsius is our final resort for cooling our Orange Pi PC using a heat sink. It's 10 degrees, just to give or take a 10 degrees difference from our other test. Our other test, it got up to 70 degrees Celsius. So I'm gonna mark those temperatures and now we should start the next test. So the next and final test, we're gonna be using water cooling. So let's see how cool we can get our Orange Pi PC. All right guys, we're here. We're finally at our final test. I connected all the water cooling stuff to our Orange Pi PC and we're gonna run the same test. So on the right here, you can see our base temp is at 29 degrees. It was at 28 before. So it's basically 10 degrees cooler than all the other base temps. Right off the bat, the cooling solution's way better. Again, base temp is 10 degrees cooler than with the heat sink. So a lot more efficient than all the other cooling methods we use. We won't know until we run the stress test. So I'm gonna run the stress test. Again, it's two minutes long. Once the two minutes is up, I'm gonna record the temperature. Then we can move on to the next part. All right guys, so the test is over and I'm recording a temperature of 45 degrees after the test. It got as high as 47, but before the test was over, it dropped down to 45 degrees Celsius. So, so that's pretty much amazing. All right guys, so let's look at some of the results here. I use something called meta-chart.com to create this cool meta chart. If you guys are interested, it's free, meta-chart.com. Let's look at the first test. The first test, again, is no cooling. Shown in green, our base temperature is 40 degrees Celsius. And when we ran the stress test, shown in orange, we got a temperature of 72 degrees Celsius. Let's go down to the second test. The second test, remember, we use a heat sink. Now, shown in green, the base temp was 38 degrees Celsius. And when we ran the stress test in orange, we got a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. It's a lot better than no cooling. Now, let's go to our third and final test, water cooling. 
So shown in green, we got a base temperature of 28 degrees Celsius. That's like almost half the difference of the no cooling. So water cooling is really efficient. Now in orange, this is our stress test. We got a temperature of 45 degrees Celsius. So our original uh, no cooling, we got a temperature of 72 degrees Celsius when we stress it. So it's like though the water cooling is way more efficient. Again, when stressing it, we only got up to 45 degrees Celsius. With the heat sink, we got up to 60 degrees Celsius. And with no cooling, we got up to 72 degrees Celsius. So water cooling definitely is the more efficient. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rustin from RustinFromRustinFromTech.com and thank you guys for watching.